Hey everybody, it's Tammy. This is the Nutmeg Notebook Kitchen. So here we are live again. I don't even know at this point how many times we've gone live to do cooking shows in the past week. So the bundle started a week ago today. It's like cra been crazy time. Um, Tom, I'm gonna need my iPad so that I can see the chat over here since you are not at the computer. Um, so I think Tom said Tiffany is in the chat. Thank you for being here, Tiffany. You guys can ask me questions. I'm gonna be doing a cooking demo. Tom's actually gonna come in and help me as well. That's gonna be fun for me. I don't know if it's fun for him. I hope it's fun for you. <laughs> he says, yeah, it's fun for him. He doesn't have a mic on, so he can't talk. So, um, so if you wanna ask questions in the chat, please preface your question with three question marks and with three question marks. That just helps your questions pop out at us. So we are actually going to make three recipes from the bundle. So if you don't know what I'm talking about regarding the bundle, the bundle is the uh, ultimate vegan health and weight loss bundle. And this is a collaboration of over 70 different hey, people. Oops. Yummy. Make notebook, and we are <laughs> that shut that Tammy off. Um, and uh, about 70 or more than 70 of us collaborated, pooled some of our best digital content together in what is called a bundle. So it is a bundle of digital content that is all whole food, plant based, all oil free, vegan. There could be recipes with salt or sugar in them but we all know at this point how to get past that so if there is salt you leave it out you can use some salt substitute and we can use dates or date sugar in place of sugar so it is an incredible amount of content it's worth about six thousand five hundred dollars and you get everything for forty nine dollars that's right here you go i feel like a used car salesman that's right forty nine dollars <laughs> for you uh, but this is new material it's not used but it's not used it's not used material it's new so tom if you would hand me nope i got it right here you can get your mic on so our, our, our contribution to the bundle is our brand new course. It is Batch Cooking with Tammy. And I take you all through how I do batch cooking, different ways that you can do batch cooking. We have 32 videos, 15 hours of viewing time. You can binge watch it all at once if you want this weekend, or you can take your time and watch a video at a time. It's all broken up into modules. It's not 15 straight hours of video. It's broken up into modules so you can pick and choose what you want to see in whatever order you want to do it. We go through how to organize your kitchen, your pantry, your refrigerator, your freezer, how we batch prep and store. And if you're not into freezing, then, you know, just concentrate on how to cook more efficiently for the week. If you have a small refrigerator and you can't batch prep for the whole week, you can do two or three days at a time. I mean, there is a way to make it work for absolutely everybody. So I've been doing this for 10 years. I'm sharing with you all of my best hints, tips, and strategies for how I do it. And over the 10 years, I have learned how to be more and more efficient. I call it working smarter, not harder in the kitchen. And then in addition to that, you are going to get 50 recipes and um, there are favorite recipes. And then uh, and I have a pantry list in here as well. When you get to the back of the book, I have given you 39 different meals that you can make from batch prepped ingredients. And I, that's more than a month's worth of ideas of things to eat. And that should give you lots of variety. I have lots of beautiful pictures. Somebody asked the other day about the photos and they wanted to know about Tom's um, camera techniques. I am the photographer. 
Tom is the videographer. <laughs> And so, um, so I took these pictures, and what we hope is that it inspires but I did, you. I, I did buy you your camera. You did, you did, indeed, you did. Yeah, you know, if I'm going to be here, I have to. We have to adjust, adjust. it so that your head will. So I'm be going to in. have to back that thing up so yeah. that it gets both of us. Yes. Or cut some of my legs off. Well, you can back up. Okay. I'm good with that. All right. Did you say hi? Ta-da! Tom's here. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> <Well, you laughs> We're just a little bit punchy, just a little bit. That's what happens when you're a little bit sleep deprived. You start getting a little punchy. So um, yeah, so Tiffany says $49, such a deal. Kim says the bundle is truly amazing, such a great deal. I mean, I told Chef AJ that I feel like it is the deal of the year for the plant-based community because not only, there's more than just recipes in it to you guys. So lots of doctors have courses in it. There's information about gut health, how to control cravings, how to stop binging. Um, there is a yoga teacher certification course. If you wanna get you know strong and fit, some of our plant-based athletes have courses in here to help you do that, how to declutter your house. Um, Dr. Goldhammer, and Dr. Furman are going to be doing special um, talks and they've already set up to record it and the replay. So if you can't make the date that they do it live, you get to watch the replay. I mean, there's discounts for some of the um, plant-based suppliers that make different food items for us. Yeah. Um, there's just like, there's over 2000 yeah. recipes. It's amazing. And we we feel like we've just barely scratched the surface of what's inside the bundle. I have to apologize. I did not get my submission done in time. I was gonna write a book on how to be a nearly perfect husband and I didn't get it in in time. So I missed, <laughs> I missed the deadline. Darn, and the guys were really looking forward to that too. Yeah, okay. Yes. Uh, so, right, so anyway, TS says, laughing out loud, my daughter thinks I'm silly watching Chef AJ on TV and Nutmeg Notebook on my phone. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, let's see. What Kim, are we cooking first? Kim says, it's really, it really is incredible. We've enjoyed a few of the recipes this week from Tammy. Awesome. All right. So, uh, Tiffany says, don't cut your legs off, Tom. Okay. All right. So, great. Okay. So, what we are making tonight is we have two recipes from um, Vicki Brett Gox, Meals All Week, Plant-Based Meals All Week. She also is a batch prepper. So the book that, the ebook that she has in the um, bundle is a course about batch cooking as well. Hers is specific recipes just for that one week of batch cooking, but it'll give you great ideas on you know what you might do for the next week. So we are going to make her, Tom's gonna make her smoky spiced beans. And so he's going to do that here on the induction burner because they just, they sounded really, really good. And we haven't had anything like baked beans in a while. So I actually have to finish measuring out the seasonings for his. And then also from that same book, Plant-Based Meals All Week by Vicki Brett Gock. Um, I'm making the tempeh bean burgers because I have really been into eating tempeh le lately. And they also have kidney beans in them and I love veggie burgers that have kidney beans in them. They just have such a great texture. And I really liked the spices that she was calling for for these two things. And then last but not least, oh, you're gonna wanna stick around for this because this is the brownie butter hummus. And when I told Tom, he was like, brownie batter hummus, that doesn't sound good. Well, look at that, you guys, that looks amazing. And I got some beautiful strawberries at Costco. And this is from Well Your World Favorites. We love Dylan and Reeves and um, you get the digital copy of this. I happen to have the uh, hard copy, but you also, you get the digital 
copy and the same with ours ours is a digital copy too people keep asking us how can i get a printed version you'll have to do that yourself if you take it to staples it's about 85 dollars because it's over 100 pages and that's if you want it like we had the front and the back cover um, printed on cardstock and a plastic covering over the top of that and then we did 32 weight paper for the inside pages and so because you know I use it as a cookbook and so we really wanted it to last but it's very expensive to do it that way so you can print it in black and white yourself at home and then take it in and have it spiralized uh, have it spiral bound um, or you could print it in black and white paper punch it and then you could put it in a three ring binder and that would be a much less expensive way to do it and with some of the courses with the ebooks last year that's what i did i actually printed them in color because i wanted the color photos but then i just put them in plastic sleeves and put them in a three ring binder and it worked great so if you'll talk to the good people for just a minute i'm going to finish measuring out your spices for what you're making Okay, what and, are we talking about? But I might me I might mess it up if I try to talk and do it at the same time. Okay, well I'll give the folks that that are in the, you know have recently ordered the bundle or are about to. Yeah. Um, the I've been getting a number of questions of folks that have downloaded the Nutmeg Notebook Batch Cooking with Tammy PDF on the bundle site, um, and and it's great, but the one that's that once you get registered for the course that's on the Nutmeg Notebook site has the table of contents that is 100% hyperlinked to all of the pages of all the recipes and uh, parts of the course materials as well. And then Tammy did add a couple, uh, two, three, two, three, 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 three additional recipes are in that document, and that's my fault because because when she said she wanted to add more recipes, I didn't say no. So. <laughs> So, so you act like that was a bad thing. So there is a, a, a more complete version of our PDF on our site. Um, but it just, you know, th those changes happened after we had submitted everything to the bundle. So it's an enhancement. So um, I'm getting some uh, support requests from folks that say, I can't, you know, my hyperlinks aren't working. It's because they ha you have to go into our site and, and download a fresh version of the PDF. And how do they do with that? With those hyperlinks. Um, you just go to the course and you go to the first module, Tammy says, uh, how do you do that? And, um, and follow the accessing, no, the accessing course materials page is in the download from the bundle. Correct. Follow the step-by-step -step instructions there on our site. When you get into the course, you're registered and you've got it on your screen, then you click on the PDF, uh, uh, the little paper clip icon in the first module, which opens up our most recent PDF. So, uh, and then for some of you, there was something going on with the internet this morning. Uh, I think it had to do with a software update in, in our um, site management software, where people were getting locked out from, you know, allegedly too many uh, password uh, attempts, too many login attempts. Even happened to me on my first login attempt. Uh, I did do some software updates for Tammy's computer, and that issue seems to have resolved itself. Um, so if anybody uh, encountered that, there was something going on with the software company, uh, with the WordPress folks, where, where our software lives for our site. So, uh, so that's what's going on with that. Um, uh, Tiffany's noticing the new flowers. Those are fresh from Thursday. <laughs> I'm going to give so, you, I didn't do the stardust, so the salt substitute, so I'm going to have you put that okay. in. So, uh, let's see, where's, where's dun, Dylan's dun. recipe? No, you're doing, you're doing oh. the smoky spice beans. That Dylan and Reeb's recipe is the hummus that you okay. think is weird. All right. But it's going to be delicious. So which one of these lines are we subbing in the stardust for? Um, it'll be down here when you get to salt. So what you're going to start with oh, is... Oh, to taste, to taste. Okay. To taste, yeah. Okay, that's, so, I was looking for a measurement, yeah. So here, so he, I just sprung this on him, you guys, so I need to tell him what he's doing. Um, so you're going to make this smoky spiced beans. You can go ahead and start it. And the first thing you're going to do is saute the onions. I'm going to get you a little bit of water in case you need water for it. How oh, come it, it works? won't start? <laughs> 
It works so much better when it's plugged in. It won't start. It's a funny thing. I pushed the it button three times. Maybe I've got too many login attempts. I've been locked Maybe. out. I think you have. Oh my goodness, that's so crazy. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I did get you your red spatula, and I'm going to get you a little bit of I think this water. is going to take longer with me doing it than her doing it, but we'll see what happens. We'll see. I was okay. going to try to get dinner on the table. I'm going to get hot water. Okay, we're going to go to okay, so the menu. This is water for saute. Power five. And you, an onion. Oh, you've already chopped the onion. Oh, I'm awesome. so Awesome. Yeah, wow. Hello. That is amazing. <laughs> Let this get warm. Wow, that gets hot fast. Okay. okay, that's good. Okay. All right, so can they see us both? I guess they can see us both. All right, yeah. you guys. So I have my Vitamix uh, food processor on my base ready to go. Here, I need to move this over. So you can be more in the picture. Well, yeah, if we're going to... Here, put this over here then. Are you going to push the button? For you. Can I ask you to push the button? Yes, one of time? course. Do you know which Whenever. one to push? Uh, number two. Number two, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Number She's two. She's going to push my button for me. Okay. <laughs> oh, usually... he's just a little punchy. Okay. So you're just going to be sauteing the onions. That's hot. And that's hot. If you sprinkle just... It's not time yet. Go like this. It's not time yet. Yep, it is. It is time. It's warm. It's warm. Okay. Do you want me to push number two so you, so no. you can see you put the onions in? How much water? No, that's just get them started. Okay. And then it, add the. All right, sure. Yeah, I don't push. know if you have you used the green pan yet? Uh, I've done some salad saute in it. Okay. And I've done my, um, those super greens that were getting old. I just cooked the whole thing and added some mushrooms to it and some nice. onions. So. Okay. Okay. So you've got the recipe over there. Okay. So you're just going to saute those. Back to camera one. And um, and then read the next line. Okay, so these are going to be the tempeh bean burgers. And it makes 12, so it's a nice big um, batch of them. And so we just put all of the ingredients are just going to go into the food processor. And so you can get the recipe from the digital copy that's in the bundle. I can tell you what's in it, but I just can't give you the quantities. So we've got kidney beans and I'm doing a red onion and you could do either brown rice or wild rice. And I didn't have any, oh, I probably did have wild rice in the freezer, but you do, yeah. yeah, but brown rice was Tom just made a nice big batch of that. Was it yesterday? I was batching yesterday. You were. And some golden flax meal that helps yeah. act as a binder yeah. oh, and to it. Earlier too, we need to keep an eye on those two little green lights there on that receiver. We need to make sure that one of them doesn't turn red. Okay. So I usually I'm just kind of sitting there looking at it and then even then I don't get it always. And then it also uses a package of tempeh and I really like tempeh, and this is the one that I've been buying locally. And so I'm just gonna open it up. <laughs> Cheryl says I've got great saute technique. Aw, nice. And you can check there and see, um, what kind of pan is that? Amanda wants to know, what kind of pan is it? Yeah, this is our green pan. Um, it's on our Amazon cooking um, uh, food prep page at amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash nutmeg notebook. We got it because as so far as nonstick pans are concerned, it's higher heat. It's a ceramic uh, coating in here that you can, you know, they claim that you can use metal utensils with. Tammy does use like the potato masher right here when she's making refried beans. Mm -hmm. uh, but really it's the depth and the width of this because the scan pan that we had always used wasn't quite deep enough uh, to handle the amount of vegetables that we sometimes decide to cook up. So Well that was the real issue for me was when I go to to dump it out, it was so dark. Oh you didn't oh, it didn't oh, have oh, a handle. It was so heavy. I just lost a piece. Did it hit my foot? Yeah, it did. Okay. All right. <laughs> so it says cook till translucent, which you can kinda of see with a white onion, but the red onion they're kinda of translucent to begin with. So but if we don't cook them a bit, they're going to uh, be too oniony. So we got to cook these to, to where they're 
Yeah, it called up. for a sweet Vidalia onion, but I didn't have one, so we're using a red, and that'll work great. And then this also gets balsamic, and I did, I went and rinsed off that piece of tempeh that I dropped, um, because it's my kitchen floor. So, there you go. And then it calls for some, she called for some Cajun and We don't wear seasoning. our inside shoes outside, they're only inside shoes. Yeah, and so I have the Well Your World Voodoo, which is a Cajun seasoning. And so I'm going to use it. And I think I'll just measure this out. This should, it smells really good. So this should work well. And how much did she call for? <laughs> Tiffany's making me nervous. She says that everybody's watching me. <laughs> you okay. know, I made this, this dump soup. This dump Here, soup. Here, I'm going to go to number two. I just want them to see okay. in my in the food processor. I'll bring it I've over. got everything in here. It's okay. And then I'm just going to turn it on. And she said to blend it, um, you know, until it's well mixed. But you know, I don't. You don't want it to be like a puree. There we go. So we're just going to put the lid on that. Things get better from the front and switch back to the other camera. Just wanna yep. see, because I've never made these before, I just wanna see how, it oh, looks pretty good. I'm gonna give it just a little bit more to make sure that rice gets in there. Okay. I think okay. these can count as uh, translucent now. You think so? What do you so think? So what's your next step? Uh, to start dumping stuff in here. Uh, <laughs> heat onions, add uh, dry saute until translucent, sprinkle a little bit of water as needed, add beans, tomato sauce, water, and seasonings. All right. So cool. really, once we do this, we can go to the top camera. And I just dump everything in here, and then we reduce to a simmer. So really. Nice. So really, this wasn't a real technical meal here, a, a dish, basically. Well, that's what's kind of nice, though. People, people appreciate easy, yeah. easy recipes, you know? Yeah. It's nice. OK, so this looks great. Yeah, technical is like Tammy's lasagna. It's, it's amazing, but it's here, got a I lot of steps. Here, I do want to show them. So here you go. Here's what it looks like. I think it looks pretty good. That yeah, make... it's nice and evenly milled. Yeah, it's yeah. nice. So that should be good. And you guys, I absolutely love my Vitamix food processor. It's so great. Yes, yeah. it's asking about tempeh. Never bought it before. Um, are there different types of brands? Does it need to be rinsed, et cetera? No, I don't rinse it. And there are, there's lots of different brands. And you have to check. If you need gluten-free, you have to check. Because um, some of them do have gluten in them. So you want to check. And with all soy products, we do want to try to get organic with them. Okay, so she said it makes 12. And since I've never made these, I'm not sure how big to make the patties. So I'll show you what I'm going to do so that I can kind of discern how big to make the patties. Add the tomato sauce first, I think. Get it heated up. So I'm going to just get okay. all of the mixture. Okay. Let's, go to, let's go to the other camera for a minute. Sure. And bring your slider thing over where this dish is. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm in my... You're in your zone. I, I'm in my stirring it in. Okay, so you've got tomato sauce and pinto beans. Yeah, these were organic, low-sodium pinto beans that I found about... 35 minutes ago over at Safeway because we were out. That's why we got started just a little bit late. Yeah, Tom I, had to run to the store. I thought I had pinto beans in stock, but I did not. Okay, so we're adding some garlic, it looks like here. I need a, I need a smaller little spatula guy to get it out of there. I'll get you one. Okay. Smoky spice beans. Just a little yeah, itty bitty one. one. 
whatever, whichever one you want. So what I'm going to do is just press this out onto this parchment paper, and then I'm going to divide it up into twelfths so I have a good idea how big to make these. And then I'll show you how I like to form my patties to try to make them uniform. Okay, so, I'm going to use an even spice distribution technique now, okay? Oh, let's oh, see. Here, here's our spices. Tammy's has got them pre-mixed for me, so, so I just get to sprinkle. This is a nearly perfect sprinkle. <laughs> Poor Tom, he's so insecure. He lacks confidence. Whatever will we do? Oh, now that smells good. I can smell. It smells like it it's does. supposed to already. Yeah, it does smell good, doesn't well, you, it? Well, you know, it's hard to be nearly perfect all the time. Is it? Yes, it puts a lot of it's pressure on the It's a lot of stress. Yes. Poor thing. Okay, now I've just got to get a knife. I mean, when everything you do is measured against perfection, Yeah. it gets tough. Oh, you poor thing. Okay. I just, I've got to run water in this. The other night when we were cooking, things did not get rinsed right away and oh my gosh it took it forever harder, harder to wash yeah it took forever to do okay. dishes well you made the cutest little this is like play-doh you got going in here you made a nice <laughs> geometric shape it is like play-doh it's like our granddaughter's math school well, yeah it does doesn't it okay that, that, that's a rectangle and it also qualifies as a uh um a what a quadrilateral Oh, yeah. Um, there's a big fancy name for it. Because you got in on her math class yesterday. Yeah. That's so funny. Okay, so, um, so I just spread it out into, it's fairly even, it's not mm -hmm. perfect. But then it's supposed to make 12 burgers. And so I'm just going to cut it. you think we want to add cut it? Start this towards the end or put a little bit no, in now? No, you can do, do it now. Sure. Why not? But this will just give me an idea. So they're not real big. I call this Dylan's magical stardust from Well Your World. So I think that I would actually maybe prefer to make eight. Those are going to be pretty small. They'll be pretty little for you especially. Make them bigger, yeah. You okay. have to re-mush them. I have to re-mush. Yeah. Yeah, those would be. That's you would fairly, be, fairly petite patties. You, you wouldn't be happy with a little one, so I'll yeah. make them bigger. I'm looking for a patty that would be like nearly <laughs> the perfect size. Is that right? Yes. Because I okay, I I'm like, gonna make them a little bit bigger so that I'll do eight, and that way he'll still probably eat two because he usually does on veggie burgers. He usually eats two of them. So, so, so you see that this is why I did that because I needed to know like how big are they going to be and is it going to be big enough for Tom? Yeah, be beans and veggie so, burgers, this is kind of like a picnic. Kind of made me think Americana of... Americana meal, yeah. Yeah, it did kind of make... That, it, that does smell good. Yeah. That looks good. So I think I'm done. Are you? Okay, so here's what I like to do. I'm going to go to two. So these are um, the small lids for canning jars, and these are large lids for, this is the large one, for canning jars. And so this is what I like to use for veggie burgers or falafel patties or for breakfast sausages. And so you can either use like plastic wrap, if you're okay with using plastic wrap, or you can use parchment paper in them. And then what I do is I put my mixture in it so that I get nicely shaped patties. And that way they're also all the same. The guys in my family want everything to be equal and fair when it comes to food. <laughs> How come his piece of lasagna was bigger than mine? 
and then they like to razz me that I'm get, showing favoritism if everything's not the same. So this is a good way to make sure that the burgers are all the same. And then I just get this other tray up here. And then there's, I just there's my finished put beans. it out. They're just supposed to, they, they're just supposed to like sit and like be kept warm for the seasoning. Nice. Mix now. Good. Okay, so we're gonna want. Um, I don't think our griddle our griddle pan probably can't go on here. Can it? The griddle pan. The the one that I do like pancakes on. Can uh, it go on no, here? No, I think we'll probably need to use the scan pan. This is not for induction. Okay, let's do the scan pan. Okay. You can, you can bake these too. I have never liked veggie burgers from the oven. Where is it? I just feel like they get way too dried out. It should be under the cooktop under. on the left, probably under the Dutch oven. I don't know, for me, they just get too dried out in the oven. Oh, there it is, it's on the very bottom. But I know that a lot of people like to put them in the oven. But we really like them in a skillet because we like to get that kind of a little bit of a crust on them um, that, you know, you get from a nice warm pan. So, so that's what we like to do. But this works really well. And so if you make the breakfast sausages, the recipe we have for those, I did include that in the ebook that's in the in the bundle in our course but it's also breakfast sausages are also on our website as well and so I make those with the smaller one and those freeze really well too these guys so, are probably hearing me clinking and clinking yeah you're making a lot of noise and <sighs> for falafel if we're gonna you know I don't use pita bread because I'm gluten free but for the people who um, want the pita bread, I like to make this size because the smaller ones fit really nicely in the pita bread if you cut the pita bread in half. So, so that works out good. So I'm still on the top view. Should I go to the front view? I'll put or? you back. They've seen that. You, you've made a couple. Yeah. You've made a couple that way. Yeah. Exactly. So, so. so here we go. So actually, if we put the lid on this, Tom, and set it over there, it'll probably stay hot until we okay. go to taste it. All right. And... Uh, I didn't go fast enough. It turns it off. It shuts off if you... Pick up a pan. Yep. So these are actually turning out really nice. And you could freeze these. So I love it when I make veggie burgers and make a big bunch of them. And then you can wrap them individually and put them in a freezer container. And then you can just pull one out at a time, which is so nice to be able to do that. And they're so much tastier and healthier than the ones that you can buy at the stores. I used to buy the Engine 2 ones at Whole Foods when they had them. They weren't my favorite, but it was nice just to have something quick and easy if I didn't have any homemade ones. Did you see what I do with the green pan lid? I don't remember where I put it. Look in the dining room. I bet it's in there. And I probably did it. I don't think you did. Did you? Hmm, that is very peculiar. Did Tiffany take it? Tiffany, did you take the lid to the green pan? I mean, it's not small. <laughs> it's not a small lid. That is, oh, right there, on top on of top the breville. Okay, yeah, it's right here behind Tiffany's yes. flowers. That's great. That's where it is. Okay, good job, good job. We got this, babe. We're doing it. Okay, great. Everything's smelling really good. I wish you guys could smell what we smell <laughs> because these are very nicely flavored, seasoned. Yum, yum, yum. 
Okay, one more. These are okay. very, putting, very soft. I put soft. this can hand lid up here behind the flowers. Okay, so if I had time, I would chill these before um, cooking them, but we don't have time for that. Um, she says if you bake them, they bake for about 25 minutes. Uh, let's see. But we're just going to do them. Oh, I don't do, I never put water in when I'm going to do the, you wouldn't know that. Oh, though. I, okay. But uh, just get a paper towel, I think, and just, or there you go. That'll work too. <laughs> and then I wait till this gets nice and hot. Okay. Because that's what prevents the veggie burgers from sticking, okay. is having that pan be nice and hot before you put them in. Because then it will form a nice little crust and that'll okay. allow us you want to power flip five them. for that power level five um i don't know because i've never done them on the the induction burner so this is going to be an experiment, an experiment. <laughs> okay so these are whoa cleaner. sorry these are guys cleaner, rounded on top so don't you want them more flat or are they pretty soft they're very very soft oh so they're going to flatten you see? out yeah when you get them on there they're going to flatten out yeah it's going to be um it'll be interesting Okay. I'm getting a spatula. Now I'm going to my finger. Okay. I, get, I got it. <laughs> okay. Maybe, I think we're going to have to go up a little bit in the heat. Okay. I think. And then while you're browning those, I'm going to make the brownie batter hummus. How many of those do you think I can get in here at once? Um, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. You can do, five. you've got to be able to flip them. So yeah. I usually do four to five. Well, if there's eight total, I'll do four and four. There you I'll go. do two batches of four. Yeah. That'll, and I'll, let me get a plate to put them on. So okay. any questions? Anybody got any questions for us? Okay. Oh, there's a big blotch on the iPad of tomato sauce. <laughs> Timothy says, let me see tomato blotch can, be, can hide from Tom. What else we can hide from Tom? Yeah, else was completely covered with, look at the tomato sauce. That's funny. Okay. <laughs> she confessed to hiding the green pan lid. Uh, so here's a plate for you for, the, for those okay. when you pull those off. And I'm going to grab my stuff for the um, dessert. Yeah, Charlene had said the lid is on top of the brevel. Oh, so, <laughs> oh they were telling us before we found it. Kim says, that, Tiffany, the lid to Tom. That, that's just to like the, the, the spinach the other day. We didn't know that it was pre-washed, and we're saying, oh, no, it's not washed. But right, every, everybody on, on YouTube was reading pre-washed yes, right we on the missing. bag. Yeah. We oh, were, I was so tired last night. I couldn't think straight. So Karen says, I put mine in the fridge for a couple of hours before I grill them. Yeah, and I would, too, if we had time. That's what okay. I would do so as well. So it's going to sizzle. If it doesn't sizzle, do I wait on the others? It's sizzling. I got sizzle. Should I keep going? Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. And then the trick is to not try to move them too soon, I bet. Absolutely. So, um, you want to set a timer? Hey, give me a, a down shot for a second. For about five minutes. I got my watch timer. Why don't you set that? Well, actually, let's check them at four because okay. we've never made them on this before. Okay. So do a four-minute timer. All right. Custom timer. And I'm almost there. Oh, if you go too far, it jumps there. Okay, I know. there's four minutes. Okay, yeah. and then we'll check them. They're pretty thick. Okay, oh, you're so showing we'll them. see. Yeah, so I was just going to show them. I made my chocolate cherry brownies. I made a batch of those this afternoon. So um, I was out of any kind of little... Oh, we were supposed to put black pepper in. I'm going to do you? it now. No, I didn't. I just saw the pepper. Okay, great. Um, and so I made a pan of these, and I'll cut these up. And I thought it would be fun to do my, this, this recipe is also in the ebook in the bundle. And I thought it would be fun to do the chocolate chia pudding and layer chocolate chia pudding and then crumble up some of the brownies and then strawberries and then more chocolate chia pudding. And I thought that would be really delicious and fun So um, for Valentine's Day. So I wanted to get these made today. 
so that we would have those come Tuesday. All right, I'm going to set those over here. And I'm going to, since my food processor is dirty from the, from the burgers. Oh, you just used it again. <laughs> I, I know. Uh, we're going through stuff today. I'm going to try to make these in here. I don't know if this is going to be big enough. Or not? What do you think? I think it's not big enough. I think, I think you're you right. Need to wash out that a food processor real quick. I'll wash it if you want to. Well, talk this to is the a people. this is a timer. Okay. So I got two minutes and twenty four right. seconds to spare. I think you're right. I'll have to bring back. Because this isn't gonna looking at it. So the brownie batter hummus. We just decided that I need the big food processor. I was gonna try to use the little mini Vitamix one that works off of the Vitamix uh, immersion blender. But I think Tom's right. I don't think it's going to be big enough. It would be powerful enough, but I have got too much stuff here. It, it wouldn't well fit. So, so we'll scrap that idea and move on to the next. And that's what you do when you're doing yeah. stuff live. Remind people so. briefly what, what we're doing. Yeah, so what we're doing, if you've just joined us, is we are making recipes out of the, the Ultimate Vegan Health and Weight Loss Bundle that's going on right now. There's just two days left, you guys, to get the bundle. It's $6,500 worth of digital content, all for $49. It's so amazing. And our course is in there for batch cooking with 32 videos and... 50 recipes, and we discovered the other night that we actually have, I was saying 14, we actually have 15 new recipes in the ebook. So lots of new things to explore, plus all of the recipes. Thank you, you are so fast. Plus Easy all, to do when you're, uh, when you're nearly perfect. Well, that's right, <laughs> doggone it. You're just full of yourself. He is full of himself. Okay, so this is, I'm making the brownie batter hummus, and this is the recipe from Well Your World, and um, I love their recipes. I actually, I use a lot of their recipes, you guys, because they're very simple and easy, and they use um, easy to find ingredients, and so. Do you need the lid for that? I do. And do you need the little plunger or no? Um, I not. think it still works without it. Yeah. You don't. But I've got to put stuff in it first. Okay. And then we're also making the um, tempeh veggie burgers and the smoky spiced beans from Plant Based Meals All Week by Vicki Brett Gock. So, and Tom has the beans. We'll show you those again because um, we'll. We'll fix up a plate and taste. Okay, these so, are still stuck. It doesn't want to move. Oh, no. So I'm going to leave it go. It Should may it... not have been up high enough. This may not be hot enough. Well, it's a test. Well, I'm going to go to 5.5 then. And, oh, yeah, I would definitely have it, I think, higher. Definitely. And then this has cacao powder, dates. And I did soak my dates because I you know, wanted to make sure that they were going to blend. And it has a little bit of, I'm using the Joy almond milk. And it does have one tablespoon of tahini. I don't use a lot of tahini, but this is a, you know, a special recipe for Valentine's Day. And so one tablespoon of tahini in this whole great big batch. And what that's going to do is it's going to add a nice flavor and it's also going to add some fat to it, so it's gonna have a nice mouthfeel to it. It'll be a little bit richer. And then we're just gonna put the lid on. I'm gonna gently use this to loosen it because it's got a nice sharp front. Okay, and see if it works. Yeah. And I'm just gonna run this and blend it up. And I want to scrape down the sides. You 
because I want to, oh man, does <coughs> that smell good and chocolatey. Oh my gosh. I'm going to want a little more almond okay. milk in it because I want it to to be really, really creamy. I've got to run upstairs and quick save on my YouTube thing because I didn't, uh, it's just got the stuff from yesterday still in it from our Rosh Yen show. Yeah. So I put it in, but I didn't click on save. Uh-oh. So. Whoops, whoops, whoops. So that's still sticking. So I'm going to go quick save real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. So you guys, I'm going to add a little more milk to it because I want it to be thinner. So I see that Reeves made it so that it would be thick so she could pipe it, put it in a piping bag. Um, but I was hoping to dip strawberries in it, so we'll see. <laughs> Okay, let's see how we are doing. Okay. Now, it's still a bit thick. I want you, can you guys see? See there? So, it's still a bit thick. So, if you wanted to, like, put it on apple slices, it would be good at this point for that. But I'm going to add a little more milk. And let's see how this does. Okay, I'm getting some crusty feeling release now. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> that one burned. That one didn't. didn't so you've got to really keep that pan in the center isn't that so interesting I'm just gonna do a little more you guys just a little more I just want it to be a little bit thinner well, I'll eat the dark ones I like that and I think if I'd had home cooked garbanzo beans they would be creamier than these um, store-bought canned ones but I didn't, you know, didn't know I was making this until this afternoon. Well, this is like prefer to make hummus in the blender because I always feel like I can make a really smooth and creamy hummus more so in the blender. Okay, I, it, it's not that my stuff I put in there wasn't there. It just I should have took some stuff out from yesterday. Okay, you need to watch those, babe. I'm back. <laughs> Well, I was just following the leave them on long enough that they could release with the I brownie. I know. Well, you just, it's, we haven't, I think they would have cooked up better if we had chilled them first. So we're not going to cook these for, I'm going to chill those. Okay. And let's, let's do that. I'm going to check these beans to make sure these beans aren't burning. And it's I'm going to shut, I'm going to shut these off. Yeah, they're probably done now. Those yeah, when I taste them, they taste really good, but the onions still had a little bit of bite to them. Oh, did it? Okay. And so I put a little heat on it to soften those up the rest of the way. Okay. So, anyway. I'm going to put the joy milk away, and... Cindy thinks my burgers are fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're on the top camera. We'll call them... Let's um, go back to... to let's uh, call them... Um, well, they have Cajun seasoning See, in them, so they're 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 supposed to be Cajun. That way. They're they're and, and, black. And you also have to bear in mind that they're not perfect. They're black and ve veggie burgers. Black let's call them nearly perfect. Black and there black you go. Nearly perfect veggie burgers. Yeah. So, so we'll, I turned this down to five point five because we'll I chill those and then. 
We'll cook them tomorrow. Let's put those on a plate. And we'll chill them. Okay. Okay, this one feels like it's got a crust on the bottom, so let's... Here's a plate for you. Let's see, I might wind up putting it back, but... Okay, oh. no, it's... Oh. Eh, nah. No, it's really pretty soft still. It so. is. Well, maybe this is why she um, said to cook them in the oven. Oh, yeah, we're cheating, aren't we? Because that's going to dry them out. That would too. dry them out more. Okay. Yep, it would. It would. So. Well, this is how we learn. It is how we learn. I'm going to set these over here. I'm going to wash my hands before I come back over. Yeah, uh, Deb was asking you can use a metal spatula on a scan pen. Um, you can. You can, because it's like the like the green pen we were talking about earlier. Yep. The, the, the nonstick coating is infused with a ceramic uh, particle so to make it more durable. Also, I'm not like gouging or chopping. I'm very carefully scraping underneath the burgers. So I am being, I, I'm not being I aggressive usually, with this. Usually the only metal utensil I use in the green pan or the scan pan is my potato to, masher yeah. when I make the um, beans. Yeah, the, the leading edge on this, this uh, I don't know what this spatula is made out of, some kind of plastic. Um, this is a pampered chef spatula, but it's kind of blunt. And so if you're like undoing this sticky or uh, crust, uh, encrusted, stuck to the pan stuff, you need a finer, <laughs> finer blade. So. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, I think I could get a creamier consistency in my blender for sure. Because this is, still looks kind of rough instead of super creamy. How come we didn't use the blender? Because I was following the recipe. Oh. That's the tough thing about doing a recipe for the first time live is you have no idea how it's going to go. Well, I bet it's still going to taste great. Oh, it's going to be delicious. But um, I just always do have better luck making... Mm -hmm making hummus in the blender. But here we go. I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. Els came late and now has to go make supper. Oh dear. There we go. Cindy agrees with Gina that uh, hummus is smoother in the blender. Yes, absolutely smoother in the blender. But there you go, this is, let's do the top down just so I can show them. Oh, See? you did it? Okay. Yeah. Pretty. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. So that'll be a fun little dessert to have. So this really done one that I've picked up a couple times is starting to have some body. Yeah. So... I'm going to check these others. Now. How's it going? Do you know the sides of the pan are hot? So yeah, in an oven, you don't have to worry or mess with any of this. <laughs> yeah, but I always do my veggie burgers in the scan. What about pan. dropping these onto... Um, the air fryer thing and do them in the air do them in the air fry for five minutes. Oh, maybe. Should we do that? Because what's don't happening know. is see they're done on the outside, but they're still pretty soft on the inside. I see that. So they don't have the body. Yeah, you know, I would think you would want a little more body. I don't remember if I flipped that one the second time or not. Mm, I don't know. Well, it's our fault. We didn't follow directions. Well, that's, yeah, I see I was not ready to flip because I'm getting way off the center. I need to center this thing up over the, because the heat, you know, these inductions, yeah. that coil is just in the middle of the pan. You have to rely on the pan to distribute the heat. Right. And I've got it slight, I keep sliding it forward, so. 
Right. If I want to cook that guy, I need to put him right over the, the induction coil. I think if we put them in the air fryer, then they're going to be too done on the outside because they're already kind of burnt. Okay. So I think they will get too done. Okay. So I don't know. Well, I'm going to get some of the beans and we'll taste the beans. Okay. All right. What's yeah. happening in the chat? What are people saying? What's happening? Uh, people are making hummus. Deb P just bought a skin pan, maybe? Is that what you said? Okay, so here's the, the beans. Well, my beans came out really nice. They look really great. They do. They're steaming hot. They're too hot to taste. Dylan would taste them like this. He yeah. tastes everything when it's super hot. He's probably singed the inside of his mouth. But those look really good. Mm. But we've got to let them cool down so that we can have a taste of them. So it's Friday night. What's everybody doing? Um, do you, TS says, do you think if the burgers were thinner, they would work on the pan? Um, no, I just think- Because they were kind of wet. The they they, they were just to be too soft. We really should have refrigerated them. And I knew that as soon as I was making them, that they were very um, soft. So, but you know, that's what happens when you're doing lives though. If we were recording it, we would have chilled them or stuck them in the freezer for a little bit and then tried making them. Um, whoa. This one we're going to have to re-engineer a little bit. Look at that. <laughs> you know, it kind of looks like pork a little bit. Kind of like turns my stomach. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it looks a little bit like pork. Jamie Lynn. Uh, Karen says, I've been making my burgers for three years and I'm still experimenting with them. Yeah, there you go. It just takes forever to figure things out. Well, we'll put them on our plates and we will eat them. And well, they will taste or good. you know what? We might crumble it up and, and sprinkle it over a salad. Yeah, that could be really good too. And then the others, we'll see how, after we chill the others, how they turn out as well. Yeah. So. You know, when my grandma would make apple crisp, and you know, the oh. apples could be wet or whatnot, or the crust might stay gooey or whatever, but if the apple crisp didn't turn out crisp, then she just called it apple goody. I apple love goody. that. And, and then the apple goody was made the way it was made on purpose. And not necessarily a, a, a happy or unhappy accident. So. I like that your grandma did that. That's cute. Okay, you hold that plate up closer here so I can get this in there without maybe breaking this one. Of course. You know, I need to, I'm using the wrong spatula to There lift. you go. Whoa, it just wants to fall apart though, huh? Okay, next time, chill. Okay. Chill, chill, chill. Now you can show my, my, my uh, train wreck of burgers there. <laughs> it's not your fault. It would have happened if I was doing it. Okay. It, it wasn't you, babe. That, <sighs> it was just, we should have chilled them. Should have chilled them, but that's okay. So there you go. But we got the beans. Do you want to taste the beans? And we'll taste those too, because I bet they're delicious. Get that noise away from my microphone. There you go. Oh, and I shouldn't leave the spatula in there. We don't need to melt it. Okay. Okay. And then we can do a, are you going to do a, a... So these are the, oh, you want me to do the... Yeah, so there's... Okay, the, so these are the, the tempeh um, burgers, veggie burgers, the smoky spiced beans, and the brownie batter hummus here. And so we're going to take a taste. Mmm, the beans are fun. Mm-hmm. Oh, you did good. They're, they're oh, like they're lively. Oh, they're spicy. Mm-hmm. No, I like those. Those mm. are good. They're a little spicy. Mm-hmm. Zesty. Mm-hmm. They're good. A little bit of a subtle heat in the background. Mm-hmm. That's the chipotle powder. Mm-hmm. And then I am going to taste this. Are you going to taste this? Sure. It is good. I want some with some brown on it. Mm-hmm. They have a very good flavor. That is good. Mm-hmm. That's really good. Hey. What? You're pre-eating our dinner. I know. I'm going to do this. 
Oh. This makes for a nice, fun little bite, don't you think? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mmm. -hmm. That's good. I think I'll just crumble those up, mix them with the beans. Mmm, that is gorgeous beans. Mm-hmm. Beans in this on the chopped salad. And then, or just with a side of steamed greens, the super greens, mm -hmm. the power greens. With that, I think that would be really nice. And then, what about this? I don't know. I haven't tried it. Mmm. Looks like that. a Valentine's Day Ooh, treat. It does, doesn't it? Mmm. Mm-hmm. I got a good glob, a good glob of chocolate mm. hummus, right? Oh, these are good little strawberries, too. Yeah, it's good. What's the name of this? The brownie batter hummus. Yeah, I objected to that She, I, when she said she was going to make brownie <laughs> batter hummus. And I thought, what do you mean brownie hummus? Chocolate doesn't belong in hummus. And she said, Tom, how many of our foods do I use uh, make with beans used in some fashion or another? For dessert. And she said, so, you know, like what's in the chocolate pudding? What's in the... Chocolate brownies, you know, sweet potatoes are in there and beans are in there. So I shouldn't object to a chocolate hummus. At first, my impression was, that's just wrong. Hummus should not be chocolate. <clears throat> so so now I'm going to test this and okay. rescind my judgment. Mm. And tell Reeves you're sorry. Sorry, Reeb. It's very delicious. <laughs> it is, isn't it good? It's really I good. Did, I did not mean to throw shade on the on the brown batter, the brownie batter hummus. It's delicious. There you go. It is. It's very good. And mm -hmm. it would be good with banana slices and Karen kids is, would like yeah. it on graham crackers. Karen uses black soybeans for her burgers. Nice. Oh, and she hasn't had dinner yet. It's 8 p.m. and <laughs> no, no dinner yet. They've got me drooling. All right. See, when you live in the Eastern time zone, that's what happens. <laughs> Everybody needs to move to the West. Is we, that what you're thinking? We get like three hours more than you guys do. Oh. Every single day, we get three <laughs> hours more. So. <laughs> oh, I don't know. And now we have all this mess to clean up. Who wants to come do dishes? I've done dishes twice today already. I did dishes this morning. Yeah. I did dishes after you batch prepped all that stuff before lunch. Yeah. And dried I them made up. salads. I mm -hmm. did get a little bit of batch prepping done. Tomorrow I'll have to mm -hmm. bake potatoes. So we're getting yeah. a little bit done. Our schedule's completely yeah. out of whack right now. Yeah. For those of you that are subscribers to nutmegnobook.com, I did, uh, Tammy did pick out uh, some highlights for me to send out to everybody, uh, little insights into the bundle, some of uh, some, some, uh, recipes and, and books and stuff that kind of jumped out at us um, as, as being mention worthy. So yep. if you are a subscriber to notmegnobook.com, look for that to get some other little uh, tips on what's inside the bundle. Um, so I did that, I don't know, noon-ish or so I sent that out. Nice. Um, uh, Kelly says, Tammy, please tell us more about your thyroid issues and how you've been able to balance them. Are you taking medic medication? Yes. So I was actually diagnosed about a year after going whole food plant-based. I'd asked to be tested the year before going plant-based, but when your thyroid is first starting to malfunction, you can be all over the place as far as your test results go. And my test came back within the normal range and I didn't have any kind of a baseline to go off of. And so it had already been malfunctioning. It had nothing to do with the plant-based diet. I am always um, want to make sure that I let people know that. And I did go on the smallest dosage of levothyroxine. And it stayed there. And it has stayed there. So I get tested every year and um, I'm just status quo. So I'm just doing what I'm what I've always done. <laughs> Apple, Apple three six nine says if everybody moves to the west coast, the, the, the continent, continent will tip, tip over. <laughs> just I love like it. A boat. <laughs> I love it. Okay, That's all right, funny. you East Coast people, stay there. <laughs> we already have enough ground shaking going on out here. That's right. That's right. So um, so anyway, I just stay doing what I'm doing, and I get tested every year. And um, that's all I do. I don't avoid any foods. I, you know, just eat the plant-based diet and um, take my levothyroxine and I and, do great. And one of the doctors said that a plant-based diet is not going to reverse a thyroid situation. It depends on, it depends on the individuals. I do know a couple people who've been able, who had been on 
uh, levothyroxine for a number of years before adopting a whole food plant-based lifestyle and then they wanted to go off their medication to see what would happen and one of them had to go back on because she did still need it but she tried to not have to take it and the other one did go off of it and was able to stay off of it so you know it just it's an Case by case thing. Yep. Can I you guess. show them a picture of what Dylan Reeves did with their brownies? Yeah, they they piped theirs into a heart shape. Into a heart. It looks beautiful. Yeah. Where's the picture? Here's the picture. It's there. It's yeah. yeah. So they did that, which is really pretty. So okay. you could do that as well. But we're not getting that fancy because we're just gonna eat it. And it would it would be delicious just to eat like a pudding by the spoonful as well. So I think that's pretty much all we've got for tonight, right? Yeah, just one last show and tell of the batch cooking book and then yeah. uh, I can go over here and... So you guys, this is the ebook that goes along with our batch cooking course. So, uh, so just over a hundred pages full of recipes. I have a PowerPoint presentation in the beginning of the course for you. And so I actually did take notes for you so that you wouldn't have to take notes from the PowerPoint presentation in case you wanted to go back and refer to it so you don't have to watch it whenever you want to refresh your mind about something that I said in it. And also there's a pantry list in here, our favorite kitchen equipment, our favorite storage containers, freezer containers, that kind of thing too. We feel like it's a really comprehensive course about batch cooking. And I also want to point out that it, batch cooking is different than meal prep. So meal prep is having a set of recipes and a menu for the week. And so, you know, you're making five breakfasts, five lunches, and five dinners, and that's what you're going to eat for the week. That's not what I teach. I teach how to batch prep a variety of ingredients and then I show you different ways that you can pull those ingredients together and make delicious meals out of them. And so I give you 39 different meal ideas in the back pages with a description of what's in them. So what, that's how Tom and I do it. So he makes his breakfast, he has his oats every morning and it doesn't really deviate from that. And my first meal of the day is lunch. That's when I break my fast, is lunchtime. And I always have that be a chopped salad, but I have lots of variety within that because I'm always changing the ingredients that I put on top of it. And then, um, then Tom, you know, chooses something for lunch. Sometimes it's dump soup. Sometimes it's something from the freezer. Sometimes it's just from prepped things that I have in the refrigerator. And then uh, for the evening meal is when he chooses to have his chopped salad, which oftentimes you make it into a Mexican chopped yeah. salad. And I and have, like this week, I've had my chopped salad with batch prepped uh, refried beans, batch prepped rice, batch prepped greens. So, and then I just ranch dressing. add in batch prep ranch dressing. So, so it was a, a batch and good dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're bad. You're bad. Um, and so what no, we... No, it wasn't a bad batch. <laughs> it was a great it batch. It was a great batch. And so what we do is we make a variety of different ingredients for the week, and then we can pull those together and put them on our chopped salads. We can put them in a bowl make a nourish bowl or a Buddha bowl or a hippie bowl, whatever you want to call it, or a pretty plant plate of food. And so that's the concept that I'm teaching in the batch cooking course. And um, we have lots of videos to show you how to, to do it. Mm -hmm. And we also filmed um, doing batch cooking at our house. So you could see how I sequence it and, and then you, know, you can do it however you want and make as much or as little food as you desire. So, yeah, so there, there we go. Yeah, in the batch cooking video module, there's a, a kind of a formal one where it's just Tammy doing batch cooking and focusing on her work in her kitchen. I did add two other videos to that module that are uh, shares from our YouTube channel of some rather lengthy, <laughs> yeah. uh, open-ended, free-flowing, freelance um, uh, batch cooking shows that we aired on a where live. we were taking questions yeah we from just the we just turned on the camera and... on a saturday or sunday morning or whatever one of each i think yeah 
and and then the conversation went wherever it, it wanted to while we were batch cooking. So for your consideration, you can click into those if you want to be batch cooking and, and, and uh, batch along with Tammy. So, okay, <laughs> Randy, Randy came in. Hey, to, Randy. Hi, y'all, she says. Good to see you. Girlfriend, glad that you can show up. Oh yeah, Marsha is suggesting here. hit the like button. The like button, yes, please. Yes, thank you. please hit the like button, and thank you to everyone who's already purchased the bundle using our affiliate link. You can purchase it from a number of people in the plant-based community. We all do have our own individual affiliate link, and we do only get paid for the the bundles that were purchased using our affiliate link. So if you did use ours, thank you so much. If you're on the fence about it, go to my Nutmeg Notebook Facebook page. I asked people yesterday to leave a response on a post about what they thought of the bundle. And the responses were and or, overwhelming. Yes, yeah. and everybody is saying, oh my gosh, I love it. There's so much stuff in there. It's worth so much yeah. money, which is true. Yeah, that that it red is. light's going. Uh-oh. We better sign off pretty soon. Okay, that's it. That's all I've got. Okay, all right. Well, well thank you for being here, everybody. Our sound's going to count out any minute now yep. because our low battery light is flashing. So just two days left to buy the bundle. It ends at 11.59 at p.m. Pacific time, Sunday night. So I'm Tammy. And I'm Tom. And we help you get, get healthy, healthy and stay, stay healthy, healthy one bundle, bundle at, at a time. time. Thanks, Tiffany and Randy, for coming and helping us moderate the chat. Have a great weekend, everybody.